The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis here, still in Greenwich, and we're going over the north side of Great Captain's Island, and there's a wreck there, and if, wouldn't it be great if they were all marked this way? But hey, we'll take what we can get. We're doing a wreck of the Kevin B. It's a tugboat that uh, ran aground in uh, 1954, and it was burned to the waterline, and these, these are the sonar images of what's actually down there. And there's been a lot of talk that it's just an engine block, but you'll see it's a little bit more than that. a little bit of current in the area but it's a sandy bottom so I think we'll be in good shape not very sandy here but there we go there's a sand hey horseshoe crab how you doing I'm gonna check the anchor and then we're gonna head into the current and see what we can see so here's the first section of it and what we're going to do is we're going to head around the southwestern part and move into the current. Lots and lots of big pieces of wreckage down here, all in different directions. Again, this is a shallow wreck, so there's a lot of marine growth on it, a lot of seaweed and sponge and couple of neighbors a little spider crab and a whelk and some small burgles now I don't know how this if this is upright or if it's on its side but we're gonna look around and see what we can see a lot of big big pieces of steel and if there's anything that you recognize just uh Shoot us an email. We'd love to hear what you think. And we're on the western side of the wreck right now. You can see there's a lot of stuff down in the mud. And I, I believe a lot of this is buried underneath. So uh, whatever this stuff is up top, which from what I understand is the engine block, it's probably still connected to the keel, which is still probably underneath all this mud and sand. You can see here's some sponge growing on the wreckage. Some lines or some lobster traps caught up in here as well. What's strange about this wreck is it's right next to a small mooring field. And if I had a sailboat, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near it. Here's one of the lobster traps that's all smashed up in, in the wreckage. Look 
this. This is a little piece of brass, I guess. We're going to start moving up to the northeastern side. And here we are. We're going up to the top of the block. And as you can see, we get up high and there's even more growth. This is a big tube or some kind of a hole. See if we can get some of this growth off and get a better look at it. Well, not sure what this is, but I wouldn't want to hit it with my boat. And look at that, there's a little fish hanging out in there. Now we're going to go down towards the bottom. We're working towards the northeastern side now. And you can see we can kind of look inside here. And I'm guessing this is the engine. Here's a little piece sticking out from underneath. Pull that out. And you can see looks like some old wood that might have been burned. So and this piece, first I thought it was a porthole, but it looks like it's steel. So I'm thinking this might might have been one of the hatches that the crew members could have gone up and down ladders. I've seen them on other tugboats. Here's some more of the wooden hull just a piece of it you can also see how fast the, the current's moving now this piece I came across in it it looked like a hatch or a door it looked like these are two hinges up on the top of your screen but as I back down nothing else really made much sense here we go again you can see it kind of looks like a, a door or a hatch or something small and then uh, on our way back to the anchor, we come across this little pipe with another fish living inside. Well, I guess if nothing else, it's a great place for fish to hang out and hide. Well, we hope you enjoyed our dive today on the Kevin B. B stands for Buchanan, by the way. And we hope you can join us again. You can subscribe in the lower right-hand corner of this video. And you can also check us out at SquallsMarine.com. And you can also look us up on Facebook under Squalls Marine Divers. And until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.